It's been said the United States and Britain are two countries divided by a common language, which prompts a few words from our Faith Saley. Hello! Why am I talking like this on the telly in what my four-year-old calls my English accident? Well, because today we're going to have a bit of a primer, or primer, about British English versus American English. American pants are British underwear, unless you're a girl, in which case pants are knickers. Pants is also an insult, as in, that bloke's pants at football, in which case football is soccer. Eggplant is aubergine, dessert is pudding, even if it's not pudding, and a cookie is a biscuit. And if you're pissed, you're drunk. This truck is a lorry. This trunk is a boot. This elevator's a lift. This sweater's a jumper. Do you fancy some fries? Well, they're chips, and chips are crisps. This foil is aluminium. This is a mummy, and this is a mummy. Private school is public school, where they do maths and learn the alphabet from A to Z. There's also an innovative emphasis on syllables. So your steak is a fillet, and Saturday is the weekend. There's something lovely about how the Brits end their sentences with tag questions, isn't there? A study shows that they do this nine times more often than Yanks, don't they? This ginger would be gobsmacked if you don't agree that everything British just sounds brilliant. The English are even aces at insults. Which we wouldn't have if we listened to the muttering idiot sitting opposite me. But if you're using Britishisms to sound smart, just remember smart doesn't mean clever, it means stylish. You may think I sound like a toff, but it's more fun to say loo instead of bathroom. Still, this is not an advert for the superiority of the English. Because in the UK, the very words you use can cement you in a social class. Yes, in America, you might say pop instead of soda and announce you're from the Midwest. But in England, a country where they actually use the descriptors upper class and working class, your social hierarchy is decided in part by whether you say dinner or supper, napkin or serviette, pardon or sorry. When Kate Middleton's mother reportedly said pardon in front of the queen, it made news, negatively. The English aren't crazy about words that make you sound like you're striving. In America, we fancy ourselves a nation of strivers with a melting pot of speech, which makes us richer, doesn't it? So, cheers, or cheers. Keep calm and yammer on.